Not all digested food is stored as glycogen, fats, or proteins. Some glucose is absorbed through the walls of the intestines into the blood. Glucose is our primary and preferred source of energy. When we move about or carry out strenuous activities like sports, we use a quick energy provided by the oxidation of glucose. Examine the overall reaction for the oxidation of glucose in the body. One mole of glucose yields carbon dioxide, water, and 2,870 kilojoules or 686 kilocalories of energy. The breakdown of glucose does not occur in a single reaction. Over 50 reactions are involved in breaking down glucose into the ultimate products, carbon dioxide and water. These are the reactions that produce energy. But exactly where is this energy used? We need energy to think for the electrical work in nerve cells, to move for mechanical work in muscles, to power the myriad chemical reactions that occur in the cell. In short, to sustain life itself. Finely tuned mechanisms keep the concentration of glucose in the blood at a certain level. When the concentration of glucose drops below a certain limit, glycogen stores in the liver release glucose in order to maintain the blood glucose concentrations. After prolonged exertion, as in the final stages of a marathon or during fasting, Glycogen stores may get used up. The body turns to stored fat for reserve energy. For example, one mole of palmitic acid is oxidized to carbon dioxide and water. 9,798 kilojoules or 2,340 kilocalories of energy are produced. In extreme cases of starvation, carbohydrate and fat stores get depleted. Muscle proteins are degraded in order to supply fuel for the body's energy needs. In this part of the lesson, we've seen how stored lipids, glucose, glycogen, and proteins are called on or mobilized to meet our energy needs. You can guess that once again, enzymes are called on to degrade these large molecules into smaller ones. In the process, the energy stored in the chemical bonds is released and put to use. And with this, we conclude our story about digestion of biomolecules.